I'm Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter. I'm the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com, a site with curated information you can watch, listen to, or read that will help you find work more quickly. Someone asked me a question that basically translates into, what are strategies for applying for jobs when I don't meet the numbers of years of experience? Now, I'm going to start by saying numbers of years isn't necessarily the issue. Numbers of years usually reflect the nature of the experience. So if someone says five years, they're looking for a senior. They're not looking for the knowledge that a two-year person has. They're looking for a level of leadership, and that normally comes at a certain benchmark number of years. In this particular example I'm giving, five years. There are people with 15 years of experience that uh, apply for jobs that look for 25 years. Well, that one's not so bad, except if the titles don't match out. Let me use the, you know, a series of examples. A two-year person is not a senior. They're not qualified. A 15-year person might be a director. They might not be a director. They could be a senior manager. That make them a director? Well, we have to go through the background in order to understand what it is they do, how many people they lead or direct the efforts of, do they have budget responsibilities? We'd have to go point by point with the functionality that the firm needs to have performed and the skills and experiences sought. You see, it's not about numbers of years of experience. It's about the experience. And the numbers of years of experience usually reflects where in a pecking order a person might reside. Again, 15 years is not the same as 25. Two years is not the same as five or 15. And I've seen and received resumes when I did search of the two-year person saying, I could, I could learn how to be a director. Well, you just wasted my time. This is how resumes get to be read in six seconds or less. So don't worry about applying for a job when you don't meet the numbers of years. Look at the functionality that they need someone to have experience with. You probably don't meet that either. So focusing on the years is a nice deflection, but it's not a reflection of the reality of what the firm needs someone to have done and what they're going to do. And they're not going to train you, pay you a lot of money, and, th and you can't think that they're going to do that because they're not. All you're doing is acting like a spammer. I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. I hope you found this helpful. If you did and you're watching on YouTube, click the like button and then subscribe to my channel by clicking on the little icon down in the corner there. Sorry, I always have trouble with this. The little white icon in the corner there. Uh, you'll subscribe to my channel and receive information about new videos and podcasts when I release them. Also, if you have questions for me, Easiest way is connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Once we're connected, message me that you're, you have a question. I'm not going to respond right away. Usually I respond to questions once a week on Sundays uh, in a longer video. But you know, I decided we do this one. Again, most of the time it's a Sunday morning video that I'll respond to. Now, if you're interested in my coaching, you again connect on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Once we're connected, again, send me a message that you're interested in coaching. We'll set up time for a free discovery call. Also, visit my website, thebiggamehunter.us. I've got thousands of posts there that you can watch, listen to, or read that may answer your questions. Visit the blog. Uh, as of the time of this recording, we're working on a site redesign that we're hoping to launch in the next 30 days. Uh, could be 45, but whatever. Uh, but visit the blog. You'll find a lot there. Hope you have a great day. Take care.